Thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. I appreciate you joining me on my quest for three stars in every cup. Enjoy the video. I really hope we unlock all the characters before we're done with Mario Kart 7 because we are halfway done. Well, we, we will be more than halfway done once we do uh, this next cup here. An unnecessary character to this roster that we are not playing as. Uh, we'll go with Mario. It's a medium weight character, but we have a ton of car customization options left to unlock. And um, now we're going to go with the Shell Cup, which we have uh, quite a few, actually all older courses appearing in uh, previous Mario Kart games. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O. Benson, the number one Luigi Raceway player of all time as I will prove by probably coming in fourth place because luck is just not on my side recently, but that's okay. Three, two, hold it down, and whoop-de-scoop, there we go. So uh, we were talking about candy before, uh, and I don't want to make it seem like O'Brien just talks about food all the time. Like, I, I talk about other things, right? I've talked about the game most of the time, all right? I just needed to make sure you all knew how awful of a candy sweet tarts were. Um, I really like this level just for nostalgia purposes, not for any other reason. Um, this music is ingrained in my brain from when I was a kid, and a bomb just exploded in my face. Uh, I really, like, it just hits me in the childhood. And it was really cool at the time to see uh, one of the aspects of the level. Wow, I just hit Toad the exact second that uh, he was not invincible anymore. Um, when you go and approach this next area here, uh, you see yourself on the TV, which was actually super choppy way back in the day, and it's not choppy anymore in this game, but, uh, it was, like, basically, um, a slideshow of, like, see right there, that, that whole thing, that was super, super choppy, basically, like, stop motion, like, stop motion is what I meant to say, and, like, a slideshow, too, but, um, you know, oh, wow, that was a snipe. And that's another snipe. Are you, uh, that's another one. Okay, cool. I'm in eighth place, last place. Le last place. Last place. Oh, boy. The super uber shroom. Um, I'm going to avoid Yoshi be or Koopa being in invincibility and just whoop de scoop my way here. Uh, not much help there. And a blooper that probably won't do much. Awesome. Um, yeah, this just hits me in the nostalgia. And, like, see, it doesn't even really alter what is happening with the other players here. Oh, they kind of slow down, actually. That's good. And there's invincibility behind me. Never mind. Cool. Um, and I would love to play uh, Mario Kart 64, but it's kind of bad. And I kind of really don't like it now that I'm playing it. Oh, great. Awesome. Awesome. No, 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 no. That's fine. No, that's fine. I get it. I understand. Oh, that just snipper rooty dooty doo da Bowser. And where did I get that terminology from? I have no idea. Oh, that would have been beautiful. If that banana was like three feet before it, that would have been beautiful. Piste de resistance. You know, that's that's the inner uh, French in me that doesn't exist being like, that would be magnifique. Magnifique. Man, I, it's been a long day. I've done a lot of videos. Um... This is a really good course from, uh, obviously, the Game Boy Advance, but made it to Mario Kart Wii and now into Mario Kart uh, 7. Uh, this was actually used uh, fairly recently. Um, I think the year before the Switch came out, 2016, I vividly remember having uh, uh, watching a video of one of my favorite creators, Abdallah Smash, doing this as a time trial to practice for a Nintendo the, the Nintendo World Championship. That's what it was. It must have been 2016, right? Because they did a revitalization of it, and they never did it ever again. Uh, well, they did it once, I think, but whatever. Uh, where you had to actually complete this course in, in record time. And I didn't even really hear the music that was coming from the Invincibility Star anyway, so whatever. Um... Yeah, yeah, you had to actually had to complete this, and uh, you would be qualified into the Nintendo World Championship, which uh, I remember watching one of the years. I think it was, I think it was that same year that you had to qualify for this, and they basically had a uh, decathlon, which is a um, oh no, is that what it's called? Tri triathlon? Uh, I forget the terminology, but basically, 
you're having a race where you're doing different things all the time. So you go from like running to biking to swimming to kayaking, something like that. And they had that, but they had different events for different games. So one of them was, oh no, it was 2017? It was 2017. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, and this was one of the qualifiers. So the Switch was already out. And I got in third? Wow, okay. Um, so was Mario Kart out? Was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe out? When did that come out? June, I think, of 2017? May? No, it was May. Like, April, no, April 30th. April 30th. Okay, yeah, I just had to search the, uh, the memory computer banks there. Um, so this, I don't think, was out yet so for the qualifiers. Or rather, um, 8 Deluxe was not out for a qualifier. Um... And th this is a really cool map for uh, the Wii era. Love playing this in Mario Kart Wii all the time. So, you had this game as a qualifier, and then another game, I forget what it was. And then, in the actual event they had, uh, one of the aspects of it was um, the Donkey Kong Country, I think, Tropical Freeze. It was either Tropical Freeze or Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii that um, you had to do a minecart section. And when I tell you about these professional, legit, professional level gamers that had absolutely no idea what they were doing. Like these people were losing so incredibly badly on um, that tournament and they were just totally botching. They just didn't know what they were doing. And they would constantly fail on those sections of the, like the minecart portions and they weren't overly difficult they just didn't know what they were doing and the reason i know it was 2017 was because those same people like had to compete in the final event which was a section out of super mario odyssey and it was the final boss of the um the sand kingdom so it's that big giant uh kind of eastern island head looking thing that's like a ice like monster with the two giant fists and people had to um like basically de defeat it and that was it and you get the it was the first person to get the final blow and that was it so like when i play video games i can really interpret what's coming next based off of what i've played before and just kind of assuming where things are going to go but these people just didn't know what was coming and I knew what to do as it was happening, and I'm like, okay, when the fist, when you take control of one of the fists, you kind of have to move away from the ice blocks that he's shooting out of his mouth. But they didn't get that, and they're, like, running into it constantly, and I'm like, man, I would have gotten that easily, 100%. Like, to learn the, like, eventually, the more and more you play games like this, and you play other Mario games, and you play games in general, and this is true for life, too, so it's not just video games. When you see situations happen, you know how to react to them quicker and better over time. So, with Mario Odyssey, it's like, alright, I've been playing all types of games for a very long time. I know what I need to do to defeat that thing. So, clearly, I need to, like, avoid the fists and... Or avoid the ice blocks and then do it. Like, if you go back and watch a replay of it, you'll see what I mean. Like, they just don't really know what to do. So... That was kind of infuriating for me. Not infuriating, but like, like, oh, come on, man, really? Like, it would have secured the uh, championship a lot quicker for some people if they had known exactly what they were doing. So, not saying I would have won overall, but uh, one of the, the champion. Oh, the championship happened in 2015 for the first time. Happened again in 2017. That's what it was, because the final round of... The 2015 championship was uh, a Super Mario Maker level before it was out. That's what it was. So they had to basically play that. And um, I think there was another level from Odyssey that was in... Was it last year? No, it was in 2017, I think, as well. But that doesn't make any sense because why would there be two Odyssey levels? But whatever. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, I thought that was a red shell coming after me, but not quite. Um, so it, it was like this really, like, Super Mario Maker was just super not 
fun for me because I wasn't good at 2D Mario at the time. I didn't really have any ambition to get better. And, uh, you know, if I had made it to that final round of the Nintendo World Championships, uh, I would have probably lost at the Super Mario Maker portion just because I'm not used to 2D Mario. And I, uh, a portion of me really wishes I was good at games to, like, be able to compete in that regard. And just kind of be on stage and, you know, represent anybody who's ever watched me and, you know, follows along with what I do. And I mean, I really appreciate it, obviously, always. But that would be cool to, to be up there and, and do all that. But I'm just not a competitive kind of guy like that. I like having, you know, I like having fun with what I do. And if I get third... If I get third place or second place... You know, I'm not going to get mad, but I'm just saying it would be cool to do that eventually. So maybe eventually, but most people who uh, play video games for a living or uh, play competitively are done by my age. Close to it. So, you know, my time is almost <laughs> over. Retirement age is almost upon us. I got a new character. 100 coins for another vehicle customization option. And we have the next cup available to us, a banana cup. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in to this episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'll see you again next time for more uh, Mario Kart Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7 action. See you later. Bye.